Thank you for taking the time to watch this installation video from Best Bath Systems. With proper installation, the Best Bath Shower will provide years of worry-free enjoyment. In this video, we will demonstrate how to install a low-profile shower pan. While the video will walk you step-by-step -step through the installation, please reference the instructions that came with the shower for additional details. Before you begin installation of the low-profile pan, be sure all required tools and materials are readily available. In addition to the materials that came with the unit, you will also need the tools listed here, and be sure to wear safety goggles. Before we get started with the installation, it's very important to measure the drain cutout. This must be 8 inches by 8 inches. If the drain cutout is larger or smaller than 8 inches by 8 inches, the pan will not fit or function correctly. Take the extra time now to ensure the framing pocket is sized properly and ready for the shower installation. Doing this now will save time later and will set the stage for a smooth installation. The first thing you need to do is measure the depth and width of the pocket to determine if any framing modifications are needed prior to the installation. It's crucial that the floor is level, so check that next. If the floor is out of level, it must be corrected at this time. A low-profile pan can be shimmed up to a quarter of an inch, but no more. If the floor is more than a quarter of an inch off, you can use leveling compound to float the floor. For easy installation, all of Best Bath's shower pans are pre-leveled at the factory. Note the leveling blocks on the back of the pan. These blocks align with the front of the pan, making installation easier. Using a level or plumb bob, determine if the back wall is plumb. If the back wall is not plumb, you can shim the pan forward. This is another critical step. If the walls are not plumb, the shower walls may not install properly. The drain is now ready to be installed by a licensed plumber. Once the drain is ready, we can now dry fit the pan. With a pan in place, recheck or confirm it is level and determine if any shimming is necessary for proper fit. Also, be sure to check the slope for drainage. Now, mark the floor in front of the pan, which will help ensure proper pan placement before the pan is permanently installed. Before applying the epoxy to the floor, it's always a good idea to wipe the floor and the underside of the pan free of dust and debris, so the adhesive will securely adhere to both surfaces. It is very important to take the few seconds necessary to attach the mixing tube to the provided epoxy before you begin epoxy application. If you skip this step, the epoxy will not set properly. Once you have attached the mixing tube, apply the epoxy every six inches on the floor, starting near the drain opening, as shown. Each dollop should be approximately three quarters of an inch tall. Now that the epoxy has been applied, you can set the pan in place, being careful to not slide the pan. Depending on the temperature, the epoxy will take approximately four hours to cure. It's important to not walk on the pan until the epoxy has cured. After checking for slope one last time, pre-drill the screw holes. Then screw the flange into the studs. The use of weight plates will allow the epoxy to set in a smooth, uniform manner and help ensure the pan maintains its proper slope. Using scrap 2x4s and plywood, assemble simple weight plates as shown here. Now place sandbags or buckets of water on the weight plates. Remember to allow approximately four hours for the epoxy to set before walking on the pan. Following these simple steps helps ensure the proper installation of the low profile shower pan for years of worry-free use. Thank you again for watching this Best Bath installation video. We hope you found the instructions simple and easy to understand. For additional assistance, please reference the additional videos in this series as well as the written instructions that came with the shower.